Microsoft Word 2013. Remove the background of a picture. Before I get started, I'd like to mention, you can do this in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. You can remove a background from a picture to accent or highlight the subject of a picture. In this case, I've inserted an image of balloons. You can see the background here is white, but when the text wrapping is in line with text, I have a ton of white space. If I change this to, let's say, tight, I still have a lot of white space. So again, I'm going to remove the background of these balloons, and I'm going to make it transparent, and you'll see how much cooler this image looks when the background is removed and I wrap my text. Before I begin, I'm going to click on my image, and I'm just going to move it back to inline with text. I've clicked on my image, and you can see I have a Picture Tools Contextual tab with a Format tab on the top. I'll click on Format, and notice all the way on the left is a Remove Background button. I'll click on that. Right now the program is using an automatic background removal. I could also draw lines to indicate which areas of the picture background I want to keep and which ones I want to remove. I have a refine group where I can mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove, I can delete a mark that I've created. I could discard all my changes if I want to start over, and when I'm happy I'm going to click Keep Changes. The first thing I'm going to do is grab this corner, and I'm just going to pull this up to capture which part of the image I want to keep. I've chosen this image because this feature works best when you have nice, sharp, and crisp edges. Now you can see the program did a pretty good job of outlining the balloons, but there are some areas that it didn't pick up, and I want to mark those areas to keep. For example, the strings of the balloons, as well as that little part on the white balloon. Sometimes having white with a white background can be difficult, and it doesn't pick it up, so we'll just need to make a few refinements. So I'll click on Mark Areas to Keep. When I do that, I get a little pencil and I simply need to just draw the line here, and it keeps that area. I'm also going to try to keep these strings. So I'll draw a line here, and I'll draw another line here. I'm holding down the left mouse button, and then when I let go, it keeps it. I like these little curly parts, so I'm going to try to keep those, and this one as well. Now sometimes it goes a little overboard, and that's okay. I'm just going to click Mark Areas to remove. And I'm just going to click here, and that looks pretty good. So let's test this out. I'm going to click Keep Changes, and there we go. I'm very happy with that. So once I do that, I've actually made this background transparent. I've removed it, and I can show you that by rewrapping the text. I'm going to click here again. I'll do a tight text wrap. I can even move this around a little bit. Notice how that background has been completely removed. So if I want to, I can bring this over here, click away, and that looks great. My text is very nicely wrapping around the balloons, and this can make my document look a lot more interesting. And I've eliminated that extra white space that I didn't want. If I want to, I can move this image all the way to the right side. Now when I do that, I have a little bit of stray text over here. That's not a big deal. What I can do is click here again, go to Wrap Text, and there's a choice, Edit Wrap Points. When I do that, I get a red outline with a bunch of handles, and I can grab those, pull to the side, and I actually get to choose how close the words are to my image. I like this image over here a little bit more, but I'm going to fix things up again. Bring those words closer right along that ribbon and I'm very happy with that image now. And that's how to remove the background of a picture, making that background transparent, how to wrap text to make your document a little bit more interesting, and again you can do this in Word, PowerPoint, or Excel.